Uh, the numbers in particular, I think, um, yes, they're pointing towards a 2.9% long-term Fed funds rate, and I think that's about the same as it was. Uh, they see Fed funds slightly higher over the next year or two than that 2.9 going to 3.4, and as you mentioned, you know, potentially two more rate hikes during this year. I uh, tend to disagree. I, I think most of those dot uh, plots you know, tend to be uh, too hawkish and they've been lowered over time uh, in the past several years. And so, you know, I would think that based upon a number of factors that haven't been mentioned in the statement, but will probably come out uh, during the press conference, that uh, we've got one more hike at best in terms of Fed funds during the, the balance of the year. Bill, as you're speaking, it's Sarah. We're watching the two-year note yield climb higher, 258 on that yield. Yields are higher across the board, but we're still seeing this flattening, moving closer toward an inversion of the yield curve. So how do you read that? What is the market telling you there? Well, the flattening, as we know, and uh, history tells us, uh, a flat yield curve usually uh, precedes the recession. It doesn't always cause a recession, but it's a, it's a good indicator. And, and Sarah, the the yield curve six months forward, and I know this gets a little complicated, but the yield curve six months forward is basically flat already. So it basically means that the market thinks that, you know, in late uh, December, perhaps, uh, that we'll have a flat yield curve. And what does that do to the economy? Well, it uh, basically narrows bank margins. It begins to restrict in terms of housing on those variable rate uh, housing mortgages, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, if the curve truly does flatten, and it's doing a little bit of that today, it's a negative for economic growth for going forward, and it's a inflation reducer or container, which is basically why the Fed flattens the curve in the first place. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.